The biggest issue that most people have with street trees is that they can sometimes lift up or crack the sidewalk. And oftentimes, even though the tree is usually owned by the city, it's the homeowner's responsibility to pay for those sidewalk repairs. Sidewalk damage usually occurs either because the wrong tree species was chosen for that site or because the soil conditions there encourage shallow rooting. And as a reminder, the majority of tree species grow their roots out laterally into the soil and not downwards deeper into the soil. So if we stick a large maturing species like a London plane tree or an oak in a one by one one meter tree pit, there are obviously going to be sidewalk issues in the future. If we want a large tree in these spots, we must widen the pits, either making them wider or longer so that there's more space for the growing roots and trunk of the tree. For example, a width of at least eight feet is recommended for large maturing species. If space is limited on the sidewalk, like in this example, we can't plant big species here. We must be sure to plant small maturing species that won't have a large trunk or large roots, even at maturity. Trees can also lift up the sidewalk if the soil is compacted and the oxygen and moisture in the soil is not high enough. And yes, tree roots need oxygen. So if the soil is compacted as it commonly is in the city, there are fewer spaces between the particles of soil for oxygen and water to collect there. Roots also have a tough time growing and moving through compacted soil. All of these things encourage the roots to stay closer to the surface. So if we notice poor compacted soil in the spots that we're planting trees, we must either try to improve those soil conditions by first decompacting and adding some organic matter or by simply avoiding planting a tree in these areas to begin with. If you have money available, you can consider adding structural soils and you can also consider silva cells, which are underground structures that bear the weight of compaction on the sidewalk and around the tree's root zone. Ultimately, we can greatly reduce the amount of damage that is caused to sidewalks if we just keep these things in mind. In an upcoming video, I'll cover some creative ways to fix these sidewalk issues if they're already happening.